Rwanda is one of the three countries in the world where mountain gorillas can be found in their natural habitat. Sometimes you can see the gorillas climbing the bamboo. A gorilla tracking permit costs $1,500 per person. This is deadly. We started our day as early as 7 a.m. It's the morning, guys. It's the morning. And I'm excited. Everyone excited because we are about to go gorilla trekking. Okay, we're going high in the mountains to go. Is that my alarm? We're going high in the mountains to go and be with the gorillas. Like, literally, they're going to be this close to me. This close to me. <laughs> So I'm excited, I can't wait. Please don't watch the way I'm dressed. I'm just dressed for comfort, okay? It's not about fashion tonight, it's about comfort. As we got to the park, we saw hundreds of people from all over the world geared up, ready and excited to see the gorillas. This view is absolutely breathtaking we are in the mountains like right now we are surrounding the five mountains of rwanda i mean we are close to uganda close to um congo just look at this look at the greens look at the blues i say this all the time look how good god is look how good god is i don't even think the camera is able to picture this as much as my eye is like Guys, oh, and you know what? We're actually, well, to be honest, the mountain that we're going to is back there. So we're currently at the site right now where we are about to get ready. We're going to get a drink, some hot chocolate, a hot drink. Right now, everybody is here getting ready to do the mountain climb to see the gorillas. We're going to see gorillas, guys. We are going to see gorillas. I can't wait. I had the opportunity to speak to some people as well as management for the Gorilla Park. So I'm here with Ali and Amira. They are from Egypt and we are all connecting in Rwanda. I love this. So is this your first time coming to Rwanda? Yeah. Wow, and yep, you? Is, yeah. Same, my first time too. Yeah. Have you seen gorillas before? No, it's our first time. Neither <laughs> have I, neither have I. I mean, I guess compared to Egypt, it's more colder now. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely cold, yeah. it's yeah, freezing. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, so how excited, let's say, on a scale of one being the lowest and ten being the highest, are you to see these gorillas? Are you scared? No. You like I'm nervous. Nervous, but yeah. not scared. Yeah. What about you? No, I'm I'm not, I'm excited. Yeah. Would you say you're like adrenaline junkies? Like you love getting yeah, sure. No, that's, yeah. sure. that's definitely sure. me. I for think sure. so, yeah. yeah. I you mean, know what? I'm on a scale of one to ten, probably like a twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Whoa! A hundred! Okay, I need to beat these guys, so I'm like six fifty. <laughs> so guys, I'm here with an Arsenal legend, okay? And so right now we are at the Vulcan Place. Now is this your first time seeing gorillas? Yeah, it's my first time. My first time here in Gorilla. Oh, wow. First time, you know. I have this experience with gorillas. Really looking forward to it, you know, to see how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I ex what to expect. <laughs> Tell us why everybody should visit Rwanda. You know what? Everyone should visit Rwanda because of these gorillas. Oh, that's but the main attraction. Because of yeah, the main attraction. But uh, you know, we have a kind of. Uh, we have a kind of all in one in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. We find Savannah, we find uh, Park River Big Five. Mm -hmm. So you will find uh, lakes, beautiful lakes. We are in a great lakes. Nice. So, it's so, scary. There's a lot of things to do in Rwanda. He said it, you can find everything in Rwanda. And this is like the main tourism guy. So now being a warden, mm -hmm. do you like teach the, you, you're going to protect us from getting swamped by the <laughs> <laughs> by the gorillas yeah. so are you friends with them do they know your face since you've been going there a lot or yeah so the rule is to behave mm -hmm. i think uh, you have uh, a guide you have uh, uh, the tracker already you know uh, preparing them that you are mm -hmm, coming mm -hmm. but even if you have those people who know uh, you know help you to go uh, to to the forest to find them you have to behave so, so tell us how okay, to behave you know 
most important you have to keep the distance. Okay, how far? Uh, like, so, like this far? Seven meters, yeah. Like, well, this far. <laughs> That's okay. So keep the distance, uh, seven meters, and uh, uh, don't try to do things like uh, you know, uh, too much excitement, like you know, like pointing them, okay. or or running, okay. uh, trying to take a position to take pictures. Yeah. Just you know, uh, stand, uh, observe, appreciate. Uh, uh, you know, and the, everything is, is 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 okay. I love and, you it. You know. Yes. Just one hour. My name is Beck. Beck, be secure. So I'm going to be your guys. Then I think you're going to share the best experience. Woo! You're super excited. Yes, you sure. will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're gonna make it the best out of everybody. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy about this. The journey began. We started with a 20 minute bumpy ride to the volcano. As we entered, we were greeted by some farmers who also were going to be our watchmen and bodyguards in the forest. The rain began to pour. It is raining, it is cold. We are right now about to begin. As you can see, we have our guards or security that is gonna be with us. We got these sticks to help us to do the climb. I don't know guys, this is, you know, your girl loves nature, your girl loves hiking, but this looks like it's very, it's going to be very interesting. I'm praying that the gorillas are not too far up and we get to see them at the bottom. But do you know what? God is with me and I'm going to do it. Can't wait! We walked through some farms. Now we are passing through the farming area before we get to the actual park which is those big bushes of trees that you can see over there now there are two options you could have done the easy part or the harder part which is the actual hiking could have sat in the car for an hour i've got a short experience with her with the gorillas or you could have walked i chose to walk because i'm adventurous and now maybe i'm thinking twice about that decision but let's keep going. The maximum group size for checking the gorillas is eight people per tracking group. This is the entrance. This is the entrance, these are the steps. It's about to begin. Stella. <laughs> How are you feeling? We are out of breath. Yeah, the, the air is different from from when Kigali. It's, it's more fresh. It's yeah, and more higher. Like you need to inhale a lot to be to be fresh. You're only inhaling a lot because we are unfit. That's why. Because <laughs> everybody else is fine. We are the ones that are breathing heavily. It's all the fufu. When some of the rules were explained to us when it comes to behavior around the gorillas. When you see a big gorilla coming towards you, you must crouch down. If you have a young gorilla and you crouch in front of you, it's most likely that that gorilla will jump over you. Gorillas eat bamboo and when they eat too much, they get drunk 
of the bamboo as they actually make their own bamboo beer. It's not, it's not good to point the gourd with, with the fingers like this. Because when you point them like this, uh, they think you have so few hands, you want to throw to them. So don't point them. But I contact no problem. I'm facing them, even the silver. And then the row hike began. mud everywhere i clearly did not have the correct footwear for this hike seriously we are in the middle of the jungle i feel like i'm hearing sound guys this is this must be the most craziest thing I've ever done. Oh. Anyone with a reasonable level of fitness can do a mountain gorilla trek. But according to your fitness, you'll be allocated to a certain mountain. Look at the view. I'm in the middle of the rainforest. This is the forest, guys. Like I say it all the time. If anything, God forbid, was to happen to me, my mom will not be able to find me. But I do this for you guys as well for the content. I mean, the adrenaline has got me going. My boots, I'm going inside mud. This is such a surreal experience. And as we continued to climb, the air became thinner and thinner as the altitude got higher and higher. How do I, how do I come? Oh my God. I underestimated this hike. The view from the top was breathtaking, but the journey to just the top was more than an experience. Steep was an understatement. Luckily, I had a ranger from heaven, Michael, who assisted me throughout the whole journey. Walking through the bushes, reminded me of scenes from the movie Tarzan. I could not believe that this was my life. This is a good test. How, how we love the gorillas. We have to sweat before to meet the gorillas. Uh, uh, so, here, uh, this is the same home range of our gorilla groups from the starting point to the top of the mountain so belong to one gorilla family uh, just one family just one family how many are in the family uh, no our family has 21 members okay. wow. but uh, the families we have they have this different size okay. <laughs> so in the case two families meet in the same place, they do fight. Uh, that's why they try to avoid to interact with each other. So 
So we've come. Right now, they yeah, yeah, are tracking back, yeah. the gorillas. We are in the habitat. They are around us somewhere. We are around them. We are close to them. We've seen their poop whilst we've been coming along. But guys, this is not an experience for the faint hearted. You need to be strong for this. I'm really not as strong as I thought I was. Let's go. Quick snack. Let's go. No, the uh, our colleagues are just the trackers found the gorillas already, so they are with them. Yeah. They were yeah. cutting bushes and cutting pieces of bamboo just to make a way for us to walk through. Finally, we make it. I walked through a bush and straight to my left was the biggest King Kong I have ever seen. The alpha male of the jungle sitting there, the silverback. It was so still, it could have passed for a statue if it didn't blink. You are allowed to stay with the gorillas for just one hour taking photos and videos and observing them in their natural habitat before it is time to leave them alone. The silverback gorilla is born black, but the older it gets, the more the silver grows on its back. The mountain gorillas are endangered species at the moment. There are 1,000 gorillas. They do a census every seven years, but they are increasing, hence the big party to celebrate the baby gorillas every year. watching the family we've seen them eat i just got pushed by one by a baby we saw the silverback the silverback is the one that we're supposed to be careful of but this is such a surreal experience guys i can't believe i'm really in the middle of the forest watching them <laughs> Thank you. 
Mountain gorillas are more active during the day, making nests. They are vegetarians and have a lifespan of 45 years. Female gorilla has a gestation period for nine months and can only give birth six times in their whole lifespan. It is a special family full of 21 gorillas mixed with babies, mothers and teenagers. Guys, can you see how close I am to this silver? This is an adult, this is an alpha gorilla. He's eating, he's eating right now, look at him. Oh my goodness, I need to be careful. <sighs> the adrenaline right now is just crazy. I could feel like he's listening to me. He's listening to what I'm saying about him. But wow. We are in the middle, like in the middle of the mountains. These are the mountain gorillas. Guys, your girl is Drew. I can't touch this plant because it's poisonous, but your girl is Drew is here. It's coming. What goes up must come down. And honestly, this is the part I hate the most. I love hiking, but I hate coming down. And after we went through all of these steep, Pass. Don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I got my best friend over here. He's gonna help me. <laughs> I am wet, I am tired, but I am happy that I have completed the mission. And your girl, Ms. Drew, has seen the gorillas and conquered the rainforest, and I have conquered the mountain. Look at me. Evidence. These are my favorite combat trousers, but it doesn't matter. This experience, nothing beats this experience. Everyone should visit Rwanda.